Hi guys! Thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch my content. I'm Tanya and I make budget videos with little tips and tricks that I'm learning along the way. I upload videos two times a week and shorts two times a week. So let's get into today's video. In today's video we are going to be doing... I'm going to be showing you how to create small envelopes. Tanya, what do you mean by small envelopes? Let me show you. Last week I showed you how to do the large envelopes, which is what I use to keep my 52 week savings challenges in. So we did some of them. This week, I'm going to be showing you how to do the mini version of that, which is just a smaller one. How this works is you would actually put, let me see, you would actually put the money, let me show you here. Let me show you. So you would take the money and actually fold it in half and then put your money in here. Some people like this for their wallets. Some people like this for their savings challenges. It just depends on what you like, but this is how that would work. And then, of course, you just take it out, and there it is. So, whatever works for your budget, guys, okay? That's that's the thing you have to understand is there's no right or wrong in budgeting. It's just what works for you. So, these are some I already had made up, but I'm going to show you how we make them today. So, last week, actually, I had a 12 by 12 scrapbook piece of paper. If you guys didn't watch that video, you can, <laughs> and it'll show you what to do. But I didn't want to use a whole nother new sheet of scrapbook paper, so I'm just going to use this, which is left over from last week. It'll tell you, last week it'll show you, like, the measurements and what all you need to do. It's very, very, very easy. I just want to make sure I have these measurements correct. So that's not bad. All right. So we're going to make it three and a half. So you just get this cutter. I think I picked this up at Walmart for like $20. You don't have to have a cutter. It just makes it easier because I am horrible at cutting lines. <laughs> so this makes it a little bit easier because I can just line it up with what I need it to be. So this we are not going to be able to use. <laughs> So here is basically now the width of your half envelope, okay? I hope that makes sense. Just trying to see where I want to do this one at. Okay, so this one we are going to take about right here, I do believe, which is see. Yep, perfect. Now, I did one of these, okay, but on this one, I think I'm going to double it because I want to do, I don't know if I'll be able to do two single ones and then a double one as well. I don't think I'll be able to, but we shall see. Yeah, we're not going to be able to. But so I'll just do one single and then one double. You're like, what are you talking about, Tanya? Trust me on this. It's okay. We got this. I'll explain it all in just a minute. And of course, we're not going to be able to use this one. So this is a double one. We're going to set this aside now. This is a double one. We're going to fold it in half. And this will create the front and the back of our envelope. And then this one will be clear in the back like these so that you can see your money. Okay? I might actually... Yeah, I might actually show you guys how to do a totally clear one right now. You guys might like that too. Okay, so for this 
clear one, we have to make a back. And again, I saved paper from last week. So this is the paper that we had from last week. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just cut this off. This is the thermal laminating pouches. And all I did was I took one sheet and cut it because this is what's going to make the clear back. So we are going to just take this. and make a rough line on it. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cut it. Okay, and we're gonna set that right here with this one. Now, this is my extra sheet that I cut. As you can see, I cut it right here. These are the laminating pouches and they are connected. Like you open it up and it's connected right here at the bottom. So I just took this laminating pouch and I cut it right here. I used one for the video last week and now I'm gonna use this one from last week. Just to kind of show you guys how to do a full on clear envelope. I'll just do it in the small since this video is supposed to be about the small envelopes. Again, you can do it however you like. This does not have to be perfect. But I mean, I figure since you can tell my desk is not, you can tell my desk is not level. <laughs> that pin just went up flying, didn't it? <laughs> okay. But since we're doing this anyway, I might as well show you how to do a clear one. You can. The same principle applies to the long envelopes. I just didn't show you last week how to do a clear one, but. I know I'm going to have space left in my in my thermal pouch and I want to use as much as I can so that I don't waste my pouch. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to decide if I should do any other ones or not because there's going to be a lot of space. Let me just go ahead and grab some here. a few that aren't done so that I can go ahead and get them laminated. I might as well, right? It'll be fine. I don't know how many I need, but these are some that I already have cut. So we're going to open up our laminating sheet. And I'm going to start with my sealed edge on this side of me because my laminating machine's right here and I want to be able to get that in there pretty good. Okay. So, first things first, we are going to do, again, this is the shiny side, this is the muted side. We want the muted side down so that, and then the shiny side will be up and then we're going to put our envelope top right on the edge. Okay, there's one. Here's the double one. And then we're going to do our muted side down and our muted side up so that we can make an actual clear envelope. What we're gonna do. Okay, just line those up. Then I think I got a little overzealous because I think I can only fit one more <laughs> in there. That's fine. You'll have that. Okay, so these are our four envelopes. Here's my laminating machine.
and I'm just going to guide it with my hands. Try to stick it in there. I'm not forcing it through, I'm just guiding it with my hands so that nothing falls, nothing goes out of place. And you can see how clear it shows up on this side. I love my laminating machine. My sister got it for me for my birthday. And I love it. Just like that it's done so we're going to turn off my laminator I'm going to set it down here so it can cool down I love it it's got one handle very simple and easy okay now again I'm horrible at making cuts so I'm going to use my cutter I'm not going to go all the way on this one because it is a little bit at a different angle. So I'm going to just stop it there and go, actually I'm just going to go ahead and cut this one as well. I think I'll cut it right there. Looks good. Okay. I don't know why I didn't just go ahead and finish that off, but I didn't. So there you go. <laughs> and then let's see, which one do I want it to be the top? That is the question. Okay, I'm going to make this part the top. This part is still completely sealed because I did not go past my seal line but I'm gonna make this the top of my envelope so I need it to be open so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and there you go now my envelope is open see that okay now the bottom of my envelope and there you go there's my envelope okay there's one with the clear backing, okay? You can see the money. Now this is my double envelope. So, this is gonna be the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I cut into the seal so that it opens up for me, which it did, perfect. And here's my envelope with the double-sided back. Okay, that's simple. Now, let's do this one. I think I want this to be the top of my envelopes. So here's, oh, let me make sure. Oh, I think I need to get it a little bit more. Yep, let's do it a little bit more because it is sealed. So here is the opening of my double-sided envelope. And here is the opening of my clear envelope. So now we just need to trim the edges. And again, guys, this is where, this is the bottom of the envelope. If you wanted to keep this on here and put holes in for your binders, you could do that. They do have like mini binders that these would fit into. 
you could do that. I'm not going to today. But you could absolutely do that. decide what way I want to do this because I want to make sure you always just want to make sure you're not cutting through that seal I really hope you can see the seal I don't know if you can or not but there's a little seal you can see where it's sealed and you don't want to cut through that or you will mess it up and then it'll open up your envelope all the way and you don't want to do that So again, here's another double-sided envelope. I kind of like this clear one. I haven't, I haven't done a clear one yet, guys. <laughs> so. And then here is the clear envelope. And it would be a little something like this. There you go. Those are the little envelopes. I hope this helped. I hope this is not, I felt like I just muddled through, but I had no script or anything. I was just showing you how I do it. That's all for today's <laughs> video. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching my content. I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And don't forget to comment and share my videos. Thanks, guys. Be safe and have a great day.